Here is how to relight your photos and AI works. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, I have a very easy to use tool for you. It's actually a website where you can upload your pictures and then use AI to adjust the light. Down here, we have some sample images that show some interesting cases. And afterwards, I will show you also how I use this with one of my mid journey renders. Let's go over the interface. You see these circles here. These are the light sources. Now, right now this only has one kind of light which is a point light so you don't have a directional light and you don't have a spotlight you can add multiple light sources right now we have two but you can also easily add three light sources or you can delete the light sources to only use one when I go here in the middle you can see that the nose is sticking out the reason for that is because I can also adjust the distance how far is this light hovering above the person and I can also position it behind the person for example to get a little bit of light here on the neck from the behind and have a little bit of rim light we will see this in a later example now what you also can do here is to change the light color to anything you want also from the saturation from the color and the brightness so that is very helpful you can adjust here the light intensity if you want to let's make this an orange light and bring this forward so we see more of that. You see here I can adjust how strong the light is. And this here is the radius, which means how far the light can reach. So when I have a small radius, I need to come rather close with my orb so that the light is falling onto the subject. This is good because this means I can also create regional light rather than light that affects all of the image at the same time. Another very interesting thing is that we can adjust the ambient light. Now ambient light is basically the light that you have at a location, but also the light that is reflected from the things around you in the location. So in this case, you can only adjust the brightness and the color of the ambient light. There is not any more adjustments here. I'm hoping they update that over time, for example, for a gradient or letting me upload an overlay that I can use for ambient light because this would give me some more options. But you can see in combination with these two, we can already create a rather interesting light situation for that face. Now, another thing we have here is that we can adjust the background. Again, here the settings are a little bit limited, so you can set this to the original background or you can set this to any kind of color you want even black and you can also adjust that the background receives light both from the ambient light and the light sources now again here i want to have more options because i cannot differentiate where the light should come from sometimes i only want to have the ambient light but not the light sources on my background also i cannot adjust the strength of that also, I don't have a way for this color to influence the background without completely removing the background. So I cannot blend that because sometimes I want to have a dark background and at the same time a bright subject in the foreground. When I remove the background and, and set it to receive light, this will still affect that. And this can be used to create a really nice soft gradient in the background. So this is also very helpful. Now, when you think the circle they are kind of in the way up here with this eye you can turn the visibility of these light bulbs on and off and what you can also do here with this other light bulb is you can go back to the original image to show you the difference of the before and after in this case you can see that one of the light sources the one we have up here is actually in the background of the subject so you can see that i can move this behind the subject and this means here in the face when you look i can create a beautiful rim light now of course in this case the background is getting kind of a sickly green so if you don't want to have that go here to the background setting turn off receive light and now the background is dark and we can still adjust the light to create this beautiful rim light here on the face here is one of my renders from mid journey with a priestess holding a glowing orb so let's make this a little bit more intense let's turn this on here and we have our light color let's set this to a nice warm orange here like so 
What I want to do here is you can see when I have the radius very strong and then also strong light. So the face is also in light. The chest is way too bright. So this is not going to work. So instead, what I'm going to do is to reduce the light here until the chest here looks nicely lit. And then I'm creating a second light, set it to the same color and I will push it up here, reduce the radius. So it's only affecting the face. I can adjust here the distance until I have a nice light that also looks more dramatic. And when I turn this off so we see only the image, you can see that we have actually created a very nice light situation. Here's the before and the after. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.